one of the key questions that many of us have is how can we protect our family from the coronavirus? And, and it has to start by discussing with them what the disease is and how dangerous it is so that they understand that it is really uh, changing the world. It, the world is not the same as it was before. And we may have to change, and we do have to change how we act. Um, and this starts from being aware of how it transmits. And there are two main ways. One is being near someone so that you um, uh, breathe the air that they breathe out, or you shake their hands. That's the first way. So we want to avoid being close to someone and, and the best way to think about it is you want to be about six feet away from someone in order to protect yourself from being infected in that way. The second way that it's transmitted is by having the virus on surfaces. So surfaces that people touch or they breathe on, uh, you don't want to be touching them. And so um, you want to avoid touching things like doorknobs and, hotel and elevator buttons um, in public places or in shared spaces. So the key thing is to make sure that you understand that you have to touch those things with something else, not with your hand, like with a paper towel or wearing a glove. Um, and then the third thing is understanding that if you wash your hands, if by chance you touch something, then soap really is effective at killing the virus. Uh, and so the best thing, of course, is to avoid going to places where you might be in contact with people that are sick. So you really want to avoid meetings where there are a lot of people because that's a big chance that a lot of people will get sick including you and you don't know who's sick because they may have very mild symptoms and they're not showing them to you and and you may get sick from them and that's happened a lot in fact there are events where many thousands of people have ended up being sick because of a single event that has a a, a large number of people in it and then it gets spread out from there um, so avoiding or, or making sure you absolutely don't go to any uh, public meetings, avoiding even private meetings or individual meetings by doing them virtually or calling people if you can, um, and, and, and just generally avoiding the possibility of, of being in touch or breathing the same air with people or touching things that they touch. And then more in, uh, at, a more, at a stronger level, if, if there's contagion around or you're worried, and now we don't know because they're not testing enough, um, then the key thing is to try to create a safe space for your family um, and to be there as much as possible and to protect yourself when you go out of a safe space. So we have guidelines, both for individuals and how they deal with the environment and for protecting your family uh, by creating a safe space.